What up, guys? Today, we've got the top 10 skill moves inspired by Ronaldo, a guy that was absolutely incredible with the ball, insanely creative, and so precise that he would dominate all sports. Yep, 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 yep. You guys got two seconds. What is Online Soccer Manager? It is the premier football management game, which of course allows you to be the manager of your favorite teams. And if you want to know how amazing your life would be as an online soccer manager, just watch this. Move. Yeah. No, we don't need any goalies. Give me a quarterback. Brady's fine. Jesus. God. Give me six center backs. Give me three lean backs. You want to go ahead and throw in uh, three Chipotle burritos with that. Now, can somebody let me in? They came to greet me. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks. Listen, it's no big deal. I, there's a lot of excitement about me coming to the club. Yeah, I feel like Golo Remy is the right man for the job. Online soccer manager's given me a real big opportunity. What staff are you bringing in? Uh, I've, brought in I've brought in a talented team, very experienced. Professor B. Millie, some of the best algorithms in the game. No, no, I don't have time. No, I just got a new coaching job. Get off my phone. Sorry about that. Brought in a goalie coach, Tyler Beck. We've brought in a statistician, does team analysis. His name is Mark. So, as far as I can see, we're balling. You have lost over 200 games. <laughs> Lost. Who's lost? What? What? But what is losing, really? Do I have a coaching license? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> what direction are you going to take the club as far as? That's very tactics? good. That's a great question. Style of play. About time you start doing your actual job. Zero defenders, three midfielders, seven strikers. We don't even need that extra player. Why? because I'm here now. I actually am certified through Online Soccer Manager. It's not even a joke, man. Like, I'm out here coaching Real Madrid, Barcelona on the weekends. Um, they, you know, I don't know. It's no big deal, you know. What, what are you predicting your record's gonna be for next season? How many games are we playing? 18. <laughs> 25 and 0. You know what I don't appreciate is you not being prepared to do your job. Get out. What? I don't have time for this. I got phone call. Ibra? Ibra. I'm gonna go meet some of my fans. The game works like this. You decide to line up, buy and sell players, run training, you get to manage like a boss. It's very addictive, which is why they've got over 5 million players worldwide. You can play with your friends, and of course, you can download it for free. They have the official licenses of tons of clubs and competitions. The game has a lot to offer, and they hooked us up with our own promo code for some in-game boss coins. And that promo code is, of course, Golaremi2018. For real though, guys, the game is sick. You're gonna learn a lot of new things about football. It is definitely worth playing. There's a link right down below in the description box, so go check it out. And now, let's get straight into those moves. 
This is one of the more difficult moves on the list, and not because it's complicated. The challenge lies in getting the timing just right. The ball will be exposed. If you miss any portion of it, then you've probably lost the ball. You're going to want to be moving at a slower pace to pull this off, which is fine because it should be done in the corner or just inside the box. Step on the ball to stop it and jump and tap the ball forward with your standing foot. Make sure to hit the ball at an angle and then with your other foot simply snap the ball down and out the other way while you accelerate to get off a shot or cross. If you have even a moment's doubt while trying to do this, you're going to run into trouble. So practice it on your own over and over again until you feel comfortable. Once you do, you can even figure out ways to modify it and make it your own. Just be sure to use it in the right place and you're all good. This is easily one of my favorite nutmeg combos of all time. If you've seen a highlight video of Ronaldo, then you've for sure seen this clip. The fact that he pulled this off with two guys coming at him makes it all the more badass, and we're going to break it down for you. We pull the ball behind us, quickly using a Croy variation, and then step on the ball and drag it back exactly where we came from with one or two touches heading away from the defender. At this point, we're hoping that they took the bait and then now rushing to put some pressure on us. And it's at this moment that we want to go for the meg by stepping on the ball and then flicking it through with the outside of our foot. Notice that that portion is done almost instantaneously. A one-two and we're out. It has to be done like that. Go any slower and the chance that you'll pull it off goes down drastically. Not only is this a dope move, but learning and training the steps will make you a more technical and more confident player, which will carry over to other parts of your game. Ronaldo pulled this off over 20 years ago against Costa Rica in the Copa America. The fact that he literally got the defender to just move out of the way is ridiculous considering how simple the move is. He had plenty of tricks, but a sick body feint is a sick body feint and sometimes that's just all you need. Approach the defender slowly, just a bit faster than walking speed. Just before you get within his reach, lean and drop your shoulder away and explode out to the other side. Release your shot before the defender has a chance to recover. He pulled this off just inside the box, but it'd be just as useful if you were trying to get off a cross or hit one from outside the box. The key here is the change of pace when you go to throw the feint. Be quick, go with everything you got. If you miss, you miss, but at least give yourself a chance by dropping your shoulder and exploding out. For most moves to work, you need to be fluid, and that's especially true here, where your feet and body are going to be temporarily headed in different directions. The move will work a million times better if you're moving at an angle rather than straight on, so look to prepare like that. When you drag the ball with the inside of your foot, you've got to really throw your hips to sell the step over. It's a move where you're going to want to generate a lot of speed before you execute. If you're stiff, it won't work. If you're slow, it won't work. So notice that sometimes I turn my body completely in the opposite direction. Figure out what fits your style and then train, train, train train. Don't expect to blow by the defender each time. You might sometimes, but at the very least, if you do this right, you're going to create some space. This is the type of move that requires a bit of faith on your part. And faith in what, you might ask? Faith in your quickness. And faith in your ability to predict the defender's reaction. The best players in the world don't go into every one-on-one -on -one situation with a pre-planned move. It's their ability to create and adapt that makes them great. Sometimes Ronaldo would throw a simple step over just to see what sort of reaction he might get. And sometimes defenders would think that they were quicker than him. And most of the time, Ronaldo would not so politely remind them that he's not from Earth. So when doing this move, simply know that the idea is to go with the flow. You throw the step over not to go around the defender but to invite him to attack you the second he does you make your move two touches and you accelerate to get out we will never ever stop teaching this move it's one of the sickest moves of all time the way he pulled it off was insane because he scored right after and considering that it's been something like 15 years and we don't really see it that much team goal Ramey does not want this move to go extinct but to break down the move, know that it starts with an inside step over, and at the same time, you've got to tap the ball forward with your trailing foot. Once the ball is just in front of you, you've got to drop your shoulder and head and throw a body feint and then accelerate to catch up to the ball. It might seem risky, but you'll find that you can protect the ball pretty well once you truly understand the move. Variations of all kind are available to you, so don't just get caught up in how we show it. The move is so open-ended that you can toss a lot of things onto the end. Ronaldo did his step overs with a few little touches and then an incredibly quick and sharp step over and explosion. If he was running too fast, it would give it away. The surprise is one of the most undervalued elements of this move. But when we're talking about double or multiple step overs, it's more important that you build up enough speed and make sure that the ball is still rolling forward as you do them. You don't even need to know how many you're going to do as long as you sell them by getting your entire body into it just like he would. Just know that whenever you're about to stop, you've got to sprint out. The step overs are putting the defender on his back foot. If you accelerate out, you'll win the first step and gain some space. This is a pretty sick move that will allow you to get a defender to reach in. It's one of the only moves today that you're going to want to do semi-slow. You've got to stay under control to pull it off. 
drag the ball inside and step over it at the same time. Once the ball's gone across your body, snap down with your foot and look to get out. It's a very reliable way to gain an inch and it's easily ready to be used on the sideline or in front of goal. For those of you guys with some speed, this move is for you. Ronaldo at times wouldn't even bother with all the tricks. He knew well enough that if he could surprise you or throw you off balance for a sec, his speed could make up for the rest. In order to do a cut like this, you obviously need space. So if you find yourself starting to cut inside on the wing or you're a striker and you've only got one more guy to beat, this is definitely something you want to keep in mind. Notice that unlike a normal cut where the ball is kept close, here the idea is to knock it into space. But it's not as simple as just kicking it out. You've got to try and cut run and turn at nearly 90 degrees. It's deadly because it's so unlikely that you try it. So notice that we've cut completely inside and are virtually running towards the other sideline before we make our move. You've got to do it with conviction and purpose and with enough space in between you and the defender. Expect to get shoved or even obstructed, so protect yourself. But if you're quick off the first 10 yards, this move is for you. We've got a whole entire video devoted to this move right here, but Ronaldo was so lethal with this that we had to include it. To go more in depth, check out the link in the description box, but for now, just remember that you can't stand straight up to pull this off. You get a little low, and don't forget that the most effective snakes generally don't leave your foot. It's more like one long, continuous touch. Ronaldo did something very smart with his snake, which was to roll the ball slightly forward just before doing it. The ball tends to stay more glued to your foot if it's moving forward slightly, so if you want a simple way to improve your elastico, make sure to try this because it will definitely help. Despite Ronaldo playing up high as a striker, you can clearly see that this is the type of turn that's useful all over the field. It'll be infinitely more deadly if you're running at speed and the defender is chasing you to catch up. In order for it to work best, you've got to reach for the ball. You might think it's as easy as doing a moving Cruyff, but without you understanding the proper body movement, you'll never get the most out of it. It's not a chop. We reach to Cruyff the ball behind, and we want to take the touch behind us back from where we came. Stop on a dime and turn to head out the other way. You have to know where the defender's coming from. If they aren't sprinting to follow your initial momentum, you'll turn right into them. So raise your awareness to glance and know where the defender's coming from before you go for it. Alright guys, so that was the video. Make sure to practice those if you really want to use them in the game. If you like this video, if it helped you out, give us a like. Of course, subscribe, check out our Patreon page. Go to goalaramy.com because we're awesome. We'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace.